So let's say we're given two terms in a, in a geometric sequence. So the third term is 108, and the sixth term is 23,328. And what we're asked to do is find the first term A and the common ratio R. And so they are linking directly to this equation here, this nth term. Now, as we did for arithmetic sequences, we need to know how we could go from this information to two separate equations. So, if we're told that the third term is 108, then n is 3, so that 108 is a r to the n minus 1, to 3 minus 1. If the sixth term is 23,328, then that means that 23,328 is equal to, well, n is now 6, so a r to the 6 minus 1, 5. So these are the two equations that we're going to be working with. Let's call this equation 1 and that equation 2. Now, when you're dealing with simultaneous equations of this style, it's not immediately obvious at what you can do, because we can't subtract one equation from the other and hope to eliminate the A or the R. In order to eliminate the A, because that's really the one that's going to be easiest to get rid of at this point, is to divide one equation by the other. So effectively find the ratio of the two equations. So if we do equation 2 divided by equation 1, what we have is 23,328 divided by 108. That's the left-hand side of the equation. And then on the right, we've got a r to the 5 divided by a r squared. So that's equation 2 on the top and equation 1 on the bottom. Now, what's going to happen is that you've got this a divided by a here. So a divided by a is just 1. So they cancel each other out. I've also got r to the 5 divided by r squared, which is r cubed. Okay, So the r to the 5 and the r to the squared cancel out to make r cubed. I've also got this 23,328 divided by 108. So let's simplify that on the calculator. And we get 216. So that means that 216 is equal to r cubed. So now, if we cube root both sides, so if I cube root 216, I get 6. So r is 6. So it just leaves me now to find out what a was. And I'm going to substitute that into one of the two equations. So I'm going to substitute it into the first one. So 108 is equal to a times r squared. So 36. Divide both sides by 36. So a must be 3. So we've got our first term, 3, and we've got our common ratio, 6. And that's how we can work out what A and R would be given that initial information.